a lot has been made of the fact that you went into production on another film when mm. the Marvels was in uh, post-production. Mm. But 30 years ago, Steven Spielberg went into production on Schindler's List when <laughs> Jurassic Park was in post-production, yeah, and yeah. people applauded him for it. Yeah. I'm just sort of curious, like, what is the difference between what he did 30 years ago that yeah. everyone still goes nuts about and what you did? I honestly I'm yeah. gonna, I don't see the difference. It's interesting. I mean, I think there's just a lot of energy and criticism around Marvel anyway, so I'm not surprised. But um, But for me personally, it was literally just that they moved the date of the film four different times. And so instead of it being a two-year process, which I was deeply <laughs> in, committed to, it became a three-and-a-half-year process. So every time the date moved, and they knew the entire time that I had a, an obligation, a greenlit movie with people who were waiting for me, and I pushed that, and I pushed it again, and then I pushed it again, and then eventually we all knew, like, okay, if this pushes again, I'm not going to be able to be in L.A. Uh, to do the rest of this um, in person. So we just figured out a way to, like, do it remote. We figured out the best process. And actually, at the time that I left um, to go to London to start prep on my next film, uh, Everyone was so clear about what the film was, what we wanted. Everyone knew what I wanted. Um, so it really wasn't the the dramatic <laughs> sort of thing that I think people are feeling like it is. So, yeah. Well, I feel like anyone who, you know, granted, obviously you know the industry far more than I do, but anyone yeah. who has any kind of a grasp on how this business work goes, yeah, yeah that's, that's a thing that happens. happens quite a bit, yeah. yeah.